Hello to all you lovely children at home. I'm going to read you a story today and it's called Tom and the Island of Dinosaurs. Some of you might have read it before, I don't know. Here we go. Just turn it like that so you can see. There once was a boy called Tom who lived with his grandfather in an old lighthouse at the edge of the sea. Between them, Tom and his grandfather took care of the lighthouse. On stormy days and moonless nights, they would light the lamp to show passing ships where the rocks were. On sunny days, they would go fishing together and Tom's grandfather would tell him wonderful stories of faraway lands and of sea monsters. Tom loved his grandfather and the lighthouse very much, but sometimes he longed to sail the wide grey seas in search of an adventure. One day, Tom saw something glinting among the wet pebbles on the seashore. It was an old bottle, chipped and covered with seaweed, and it had a message inside. And the message said, help, I'm shipwrecked on a faraway island. There are dinosaurs here and smoking volcano. Please come before it's too late. Help. Thank you from Katie. Tom rushed home with the message. Oh, the poor girl, said his grandfather. She's in terrible trouble. He looked worried. But what can we do? We can't leave the lighthouse. If a storm blows up, we'll have to light the lamp. Don't worry, Grandfather, said Tom. I will rescue her. Tom raced down the stairs to fetch the special emergency box. He pushed and pulled and heaved it up the narrow steps to the balcony. He pulled the ripcord. With a rush of wind, the sides of the box collapsed and an enormous rescue balloon filled with air. Wow. Tom jumped into the basket. His grandfather gave him a snack for the journey and wished him luck. Be careful, he said, as he let the tether go. Tom's balloon soared into the sky. As night fell, he drifted across cold seas and sleeping towns. He flew past snow-covered mountains, across wild dark green forests, through rainstorms and over waterfalls. At times the balloon dipped down to touch the waves. Later it drifted across a great city at dawn and then as the sun rose flew on far, far away. At last, Tom could see the island below him. A ship lay wrecked on the rocks, but there was no sign of Katie or the dinosaurs. Great belches of smoke and fire rose from the volcano. He let the balloon drift down through the swirling smoke and fixed the anchor to a tree. He climbed down and began to look for Katie. Just then, he heard someone calling him. It was Katie. She was perched high up in a tree. Quick, Tom shouted. We've got to get out of here. The volcano is about to erupt. We can't go yet, said Katie. Come and look at this. There they are in the tree. Those are the last dinosaurs in the whole world, said Katie. If we leave them here, they will be killed when the volcano erupts. We've got to save them. But how, asked Tom. Those dinosaurs are too big for my balloon. But luckily, Katie had a plan. First, they collected armfuls of enormous flowers. Katie knew that the dinosaurs loved to eat the flowers. Then they made huge nets from the rigging. 
on Katie's wrecked ship. Tom hung them from the basket of his balloon. At the time, all the time, the explosions from the volcano got louder and louder. They laid a trail of the flowers for the dinosaurs to follow. At the water's edge, Katie clambered up into the balloon's basket and threw handfuls of flowers onto the water. Yeah. The dinosaurs followed, swimming. The plan had worked. The seas turned black around them and hot rocks hissed down as... The volcano erupted. They had got away in the nick of time. There they are over here in their balloon flying away. Just as the smallest dinosaur was getting too tired to swim, they reached a beautiful island. Then it was time for Tom and Katie to start the long journey home. They said goodbye to the dinosaurs and set off in the red balloon. But the journey home was not easy. Winds howled round the basket and rain lashed over them. The moon vanished. There was nothing but icy blackness. Just as Tom thought he would never see his grandfather again, a bright light pierced the swirling black clouds. It's the lighthouse, he cried. And as they flew closer, Tom could see his grandfather on the balcony, watching out for him to come home. Safe at last and wrapped in blankets, Tom and Katie drank hot cocoa in front of the fire. Grandfather listened as they told him the wonderful story of the shipwreck, the volcano and rescuing the last dinosaurs.